The cold air was so exhilarating that it made me want to explore. And that was how I discovered it. Hello? Anybody here? It was unlike any mountain cabin I had seen. Everything had its place. Someone had taken the greatest care. Come snooping or to visit? I'm sorry. I called up from the yard. Oh, I, I heard you. Screeching and yammering. You're the teacher, ain't you? Yes. I'm Christy Huddleston. Mm, you smell real pretty. I tell you, home. Everybody's in a hollering mood. I didn't expect to find you visiting. We were just meeting. Jed Horn that paid me in beans. Will you take some for me? Take time to boil them up right. Can you stay a spell? Oh, I'm sorry. I've been up all night with Jed's girl Lily. Her appendix wasn't leaving without a fight. Hmm. Neil, you still have to eat? Well, I could fix you something, if you'd like, before you go to bed. Well, there's an offer that doesn't come my way too often. I guess I'll accept. We can visit some other time? Patty, Miss Huddleston's poking your hand in your direction. Please, come back. She has trachoma. She lost the sight completely several years ago. I couldn't imagine living up here alone, much less blind. Ah, oh, people stopping on her. Aunt Hattie knows every song and story in these mountains. Side of meat or a basket of corn treats nicely for a very good yarn. I'm not afraid of a little spice. <laughs> <laughs> 